Hello everyone, my name is Simon Duflo and I'm an evangelist for Clint. Welcome to this short demo video in which we will see how to create an immersive and dynamic menu with Clint 3. So our goal is to create a menu like this one. When hovering chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 buttons, the related image appears in full window. Meanwhile, the other buttons disappear as well as the menu cover image. These are rollover interactions. We can also see that when clicking on the chapter button, we are launching a video over the menu. We can close this video with the close button on the top right of the player and come back to our menu. Now let's do it with Clint. So first let me create a project and name it Immersive Menu for example. So for this demo we will use a Photoshop file. With Clint 3 I simply have to drag and drop this PSD file on the storyboard to import it. Obviously, we could also create this immersive menu without using a Photoshop document, only by creating the old graphic interface in Clint with various images and text. But working with Photoshop clearly will help me save time and push further my collaboration with the graphic designer. So, by importing the PSD, I have a new sequence with many image, image tracks, each of those being layer in my Photoshop document. So, let us preview this sequence in the browser. Here we have our menu with all these elements, but nothing is interactive. It is pretty flat, static. Now let's make that interactive. Let us go back to Clint and let us select the chapter 1 element. We want this when overed to have this smiling dancing guy image to go full window and at the same time the chapter 2 and chapter 3 buttons to disappear. So how do we do that? Simply right click on the chapter 1 button, select the edit interactions and now we have the advanced interaction editing panel. Now click on rollover, select rollover and I will target the menu cover image. That's the background image with those three characters. Set the opacity to zero add another target like photo number one that's the dancing guy and push its opacity to 100 so we will see it. and now I can also select for example title 2 that's the chapter 2 button and I will make it transparent invisible in other words disappear and same thing with the chapter 3 button now let us preview that in the browser Let's go full screen, and as we can see, it works. When hovering the chapter 1 button, the dancing guy image go full window, and the other buttons disappear. Now, I will do the same for the chapter 2 and chapter 3 buttons. In order to work quick, what I can simply do is copy those interactions and paste them on the targeted elements. So, chapter 2 and 3. Now, as you can see here, is the little thunder icon. And if I click on this icon, I will open the advanced interaction editing panel. Now, I just need to remove and change the targeted elements. Here, that's simple. Now, the picture I want to see is the photo number two. That's the girl photo. And the button I want to make disappear is the chapter one, called title one. Now, up, we can go to the selected tab, title 3, that's chapter 3 button, select the photo number 3, skating stuff, this is the one I want to see, and title 1, in other words chapter 1, is the one I want to make disappear. So very quick and easy, as you can see, it works. When hovering the element, the element I want to go full screen work, and the other one disappear. Now, what we're going to do is add a few videos to make them appear above the interactive menu. So, let me simply drag and drop those three videos, MP4, put them on the storyboard, and Clint will automatically generate three sequences, each one containing uh, the videos I imported. Here they are, that quick. And now, let us connect those with the chapter 1 button. As you're used to, simply go to the third tab of the image properties dialog box. Make a link to a sequence, chapter 1 sequence, make it overlay so we have a close button, we can simply close it and go back to the menu. It will open 
above the menu. Now let us repeat that simply to make a link to the chapter to sequence on overlay and same thing for the chapter 3. Make a link to the chapter 3 sequence on overlay and make it fade. Now let's preview that to make sure everything works. And if I click on the button, I can see it launches the Dancer Guy video, no problem. I can now close it with the overlay close button and check the second video. It works, no problem. Let us close that and go back to our menu. So quick and easy to do immersive menu. If you wish to know more, feel free to look at our detailed resources on our web platform. Thanks for watching this demo and I catch you on the next one.